Hey everyone, it's me, YD28. Welcome back to my channel, The Sims 4 Disney Princess Legacy Challenge Season 5. And uh, we are back where we left off last time. It is now Friday night. And Rapunzel is um, trying to use her imagination that she's, you know, at the beach or by the pool. Um, and she's going to be going swimming and soaking up the sun rays and uh, all of that good stuff. But it's all, you know, in her headspace. Uh, because she's actually not allowed to go outside or, um, or anything. And, um, and yeah, it's just really, really such a bummer. So you guys, um, had a lot of options, uh, and suggestions for what Rapunzel should have up in her room. And one of them was she, uh, should have a TV. Uh, and I do think that is a great idea. And, um, and she should have a stereo that she can just blast music. Um, she is going to spend a lot of her time doing painting and things like that. Um, but, you know, we need some other stuff up in here, too. So, I'm kind of thinking music is a good, a good one that we always want. And we'll just go ahead and pop up a little wall stereo. Uh, and we can listen to everything. So, it's totally fine. Um, we'll listen to, uh, new. <laughs> We're going to turn on... pop music and just jam with that she does want to do her extra credit work now Rapunzel is honestly just the sweetest most good natured um girl I've like actually <laughs> ever seen even though she's locked up all she wants to do is like work on her skills and do her homework um, and she wants to send a happy text, but she doesn't really know anyone else besides her parents and Uni. Her and Uni are, like, really, really best friends. And Uni's eyes are actually open! Um, so yeah, we were practicing our dancing skill, um, getting up that motor skill, uh, very well. But we're gonna do our extra credit homework. Um, Aurora was, uh, mourning, uh, somebody. Uh, and so she's kind of like just, you know, doing that. Um, and Jacob's back up here. I don't really know what he's doing, but I'm going to have him um, continue his um, nonfiction book or his fiction book. Uh, and yeah, good, good, good. Uh, oh, Aurora's crying in her bed. She does want to cook a group meal. So I'm going to have her uh, go ahead and cook something for dinner. She's going to make... Um, mac and cheese because everybody likes the mac and cheese um and you guys mentioned someone mentioned a nano can but i think the nano can we have it downstairs i don't really want it in her room or do i want it in her room because she does have dishes and stuff that need cleaning to go away so i don't even know if it can fit there so let's put it there like that so we get a nice return on investment for our dishes and yeah, we're almost, uh, well, we're halfway done this, but she's starting to get really tired. Um, she did have a long day. Um, she can just use the bathroom and she'll grab some leftovers. Um, need some leftover cake or what have you. Um, there's, she'll grab something. It doesn't really matter. Um, oh, did you finish the mac and cheese, honey? You, you didn't even start it, did you? You didn't even start it. Can you just go and make the mac and cheese? Like, what is wrong with you? Why won't you do as you're told? There you go. Okay. Freaking goodness. Um, Jacob also wants to plant something. I don't really want to plant anything. But he wants to finish writing his book now, which is goods, goods, goods. Um, the other thing I thought about was having um, Mother Gothel actually move into the household in that she kind of takes over um, and makes it really, it makes Rapunzel's life even more difficult. Because right now she's she's kind of content because um, she can, um, she, she can like entertain herself. And her parents are giving her like all the things she needs to entertain herself, right? But if Mother Gothel is here, she like kind of whips everyone into shape and with uh, her like magic and all of that, she um, controls the whole family, so... Uh, let me know what you guys think about that, because, you know, I kind of feel like that would just put a nice spin on, uh, on everything. 
Um, so uh, Rapunzel's gonna grab the leftover um, mac and cheese. Uh, she did her homework, she just needs to get her creativity up another level. Uh, but she's gonna, you know, chill with that. Aurora is now painting something because she feels super inspired. Jacob's working. Everyone's just kind of like doing their own thing right now. Um, Rapunzel, my dear, she's gonna eat. And I think she'll just, um, like listen to the music. And, um, and eat her food. And just kind of like chill. Oh, can't you, can you not get it from this fridge? I thought she could. What? Okay, whatever. Uh, so he just finished that book, and then I'll have him continue Tigers Don't Take Naps as well. <laughs> and he wants to practice his writing some more, so he's going to just do all of Zayat. Uh, and Miss is, uh, you know, having an okay time. I think I'm going to pull out this spoiled BLT. Put it in the, the nano can. Yeah, I don't think she can take the food from here. I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, that's fine. But we'll go ahead and turn this off. Someone's phone's ringing. Huh, that was weird. Uh, can't plan social events, and we don't know anyone to call. Like, this is so sad. I've never seen this before. This slide empty. Um, so yeah, she's going to go to bed. Because uh, she's exhausted, and it's almost 10 o'clock. So that's fine. Aurora's out here mourning somebody else. Um, I'm kind of thinking of uh, <laughs> releasing these spirits to the netherworld. Uh, because... But they don't really come out anymore anyway. So I don't think... Um, I don't think it really matters. don't think it matters. Um, but here's our, our stuff. We're just going to clean up that drink. And um, sell this to the collector. And what's Jacob up to? And then um, I guess we'll just, we'll put everyone, um, have them go to sleep. Even though Aurora's even not all that tired, but you know, it's Aurora. She needs to sleep uh, like 70 hours anyways. So um, yeah, I'm going to have them go to sleep. And so I will see you guys when they wake up in the morning. And good morning, everyone. Jacob is awake first this morning, and he is going to uh, eat some breakfast, and he's going to sell the two novels he wrote yesterday to the uh, to the publisher. Um, Rapunzel is going to eat some more leftover cake. Uh, apparently, she can't get anything else, or she just really, really likes cake. You know, it's it's fine either way. Uh, she's gonna eat. She wants to. She already did her ex extra credit homework, unless she can do more. I don't think you can do any more, so you're you're done with that. Um, we are going to work on her drawing today, and um, maybe get her dance skills up. Um, that would be really awesome if she um, hits level 10 in everything. Um, just because she has all the time, which is, like, really sad. Um, but we... Uh, he needs to publish 10 bucks for his aspiration anyways, so he's going to come sit... Um, he wants to uh, get to know Aurora, and Aurora wants to be friendly with him as well. So we're going to uh, get to know her, even though she's our wife, and of course we know her. We know everything about her, but we'll talk about our dreams too, because, you know, princesses and princes, they love talking about their dreams. It's like the thing, you know? So Rapunzel keeps wanting to come downstairs already, and she just can't. She's locked in feeling really upset about it. Um, she's going to come draw some shapes. And yeah, and she'll have a fun time, draw something different, I hope. Oh, that looks different. Oh, she's hit level four. Um, and she needs to hit level five. Uh, she does age up in seven days, so we do have a full week to uh to get that underway but she wants to finish her extra credit and she wants to play an instrument we do have our handy dandy violin up here so we can for sure do that and yeah we're just gonna draw 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 and she's you know thinking trying to um imagine she's in these places that she's painting you know that she actually sees them 
she only sees glimpses like at school and when she gets to go outside for a little bit um but yeah I uh, might get her a TV too, but I think she entertains herself um, enough with uh, this. I don't know if talking with Uni or Sophie um, gives us social. I can't remember if it does. Uh, but we'll go ahead and play with Sophie after and try and get our social up. Um, if we had the loner uh, trait, we would uh, definitely not uh, worry too much about that. But uh, the I wanted to kind of quickly just go through the um, the generational tree so we can see that this is Snow White and um, they got deleted or uh, removed from the game uh, before I could install the no culling mod um, but yeah Snow White is up here and Ella was generation 2 Tiano is generation 3 Aurora is generation 4 and uh, Rapunzel's Generation 5. So we're starting to starting to really, really see this. And it's starting to look pretty, pretty crazy. And, yeah. And so these two are out here, again, mourning everybody. Don't. Why are you... Oh, she's mourning her mom. That, that's fine. Uh, but we're starting to get a hefty, hefty fee... A uh, hefty um, pay from our books, which is really awesome. Uh, I want him to continue all of his writing and such. Uh, he's going to go ahead and write another children's book. Now, he writes um, children's books because he's family-oriented and he's good, so that's just, you know, his thing. Um, Aurora is probably is aging up this weekend, so we'll probably um, age her up. Um, her and Jacob might go out for a little bit. Uh, this is actually new. It looks like a looks like a bow tie, but I think it's a butterfly. <laughs> um, so we can now draw people. So I'm gonna have. Oh, see, yeah, this doesn't get our social up. Um, so we're going to come and draw uh, some people now because we can. And Jacob can now write screenplays, which is pretty cool. I don't know if he actually will. Um, but yeah, I think Jacob is going to um, plan to take Aurora out tonight for her birthday. Um, and their relationship is super strong. The two of them are doing great. Um, but I think Aurora, she's just starting to feel really, really sad. Um, their relationship with Rapunzel is okay. Uh, but she wants to um, actually chat with Gothel. She's, whenever she feels sad, she calls up Gothel, and Gothel tells her um, the things she wants to hear. Um, and it's really, really messing with her head. Like, no lie. No lie, it's messing with her head really, really badly. Uh, and Rapunzel's just trying her darndest to be... to be a good daughter and to, you know help her parents and be understanding but she is really feeling that everything is just super unfair um and she's in her everyday outfit but i think i might put her in her party outfit just to um you know change things up she doesn't want to wear the same thing every day uh, but she just drew a king and his knight uh and it's so cute it's really cute um, so yeah, we're gonna pee, and she really does need social, but she doesn't know anyone else. Her and Uni are, like, best friends. Um, yeah. Okay, let me see if I can grab, um, mac and cheese. Oh, her party outfit's this outfit, too. I was like, wow, what? No, she wants to go down, she wants to go downstairs, and she can't, so. Apparently, um, having two fridges doesn't allow you to eat all the food in both of them, which is so poopy. Uh, but it's only 1 p.m. That upstairs looks so dark. I thought it was already, like, evening, nighttime. Uh, but Jacob's working on his book. Uh, Aurora, I'm going to get her to do a painting uh, for today. Just one painting. I think she'll do a Impressionism painting. She wants to mentor someone in painting. But I think she has to wait until Rapunzel... Um, can use an easel. And I don't think kids can paint on an easel. They can only use, yeah, they can only use the uh, creativity board. 
Lame. Lame, lame, lame. So she'll eat some cake and then I think she'll go ahead and she'll practice her instrument just to work on her creativity skill. And, um, oops. And uh, fulfill this want that we have. But we're very close to level five. Uh, and now she wants to draw something. So we'll draw some more people. Um, I wanted to see what rewards we could buy right now. Um, just some potions. Just some potions. But we could also get, like, morning. I think she'd definitely be a morning sim. She wakes up with the sun. Um, she loves the light. You know, that sort of thing. So I want her to be a morning sim, so she'll like always work on her skills in the morning. I kind of also wish we didn't have to let her go to school, because I think that almost makes it worse, that she gets to go out for school, but then she, as soon as she gets, as soon as she gets home, as soon as she gets home, she's locked upstairs, and it's just like, ugh, she's so, so sad. Um, but I think also we're going to give Aurora a nice outfit for this evening, because it's her birthday. And this is like the only time they're growing out. They're, the two of them, uh, her and Jacob, are, um, you know, just kind of letting themselves have this moment, this one night. They don't go out ever anymore um, since Flynn, Flynn's accident. They don't, they really don't want to go out. They don't want to risk it. They're too afraid. And um, I think playing with a dollhouse gives you social. I'm so, <laughs> sorry. Um. And so they're just, they're allowing themselves this, just this one time. Just this one time. Okay. So she, we're going to sell this painting. It costs seven simoleons. That's pretty great. Um, but she is in dire need of some social. And I don't even think I have space for the dollhouse. Uh, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and sell the toy box. And then I can fit the dollhouse here. If we move uni here, okay, cool. Then it can fit there, and then we'll put uni there. I think that all fits everything. So we're going to play with dolls, and let's see, I hope this brings up our social. No, 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 it's still going down. Damn it. Damn it, we're going to name the dolls. We're going to call them family, or, uh, um, I like the Jeffersons. I don't know. Play with the Jeffersons house. My gosh. My gosh. Um, so, yeah, it is four o'clock. Aurora is, um, uh, getting ready. We're gonna get ready uh, for our outing. Give her a new outfit for tonight. And I think they're gonna go out to... I wish we had a, <laughs> a dine out because I would definitely take them out to a restaurant for um, for the evening. Uh, so this is our everyday outfit. Hello. Everyday outfit, um, we'll do everyday outfit three, and I don't actually know what I want. Maybe one of these. It's kind of girlish, and we are turning into an, uh, an older, more mature lady. Whoa. Whoa. I think I like this one more, uh, but I want to change her hair up as well. I think to uh, straight. Is this dress cut off weird? To me, it looks kind of, kind of odd. This one's on weird, too. Doo -doo -doo. Hmm. I think I 
maybe this one, and then we'll change her earrings up to uh, just some th small studs, and let's give her a necklace. like that and um we have our uh wedding ring on do we yes and i'm just gonna change up the bracelet something like that and maybe just some like silver bangles on this side and her makeup I'm just gonna her eyebrows are brown no wonder they uh no wonder I think I'm gonna give her a unibrow yes I think eyebrows need to be updated to this to this, to this, to this, and then her makeup, we can uh, give her something a little smoky. A little bit colorful. Yeah, there we go. And then our eyeliner and our blush. I think we'll just do regular blush. And then her lipstick. Ooh, lagging a smidgen. Some nude lip. Oh, hello, mommy. And then her shoes. I'm just going to update her shoes really quick. Uh, just to be... Uh, some still this like nude stilettos uh, if I can find just regular old nude stilettos yeah, over here I'm confused where'd my shoes go Oh, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. So there we go. There's her outfit for their date tonight as they're going out to um, to dinner. Maybe we'll do a movie. Do I have a movie lot in here? Uh, change into your everyday three. Looking smexy. Okay. So we're going to come... And um, we're going to ask on a date. We're going to ask Aurora on a date. I don't know why we're using the phone, but we will. And we're going to head to... Aha, I do have the movie theater. And... The Starbucks, right. In the spa. Okay, so we're going to go to the theater. Because we're not going to do anything too, too crazy. This is like the first time they're going out um, and leaving Rapunzel um, alone in the house. And they feel, um, they feel confident. Um leaving her and feel comfortable knowing that she's locked in the attic and she can't really um, get hurt or hurt herself. Even though that's like totally, totally messed up. It's Bob Potts. I don't know, whenever I see him, I'm like, he's like Mrs. Potts, even though he's not like Mrs. Potts at all. Um, but Jacob's feeling really, really sad. So uh, we're just going to ask her about her career, give her a hug. Offer her a massage because it is her birthday. I will also ask for some advice. Um, we want to uh, sit together and talk some more. Waiting for the movie to uh, start. So yeah, we're going to come sit together. Ooh, this girl's pregnant as anything wearing a wedding dress. Okay. 
<laughs> so we're going to sit and tell her an engaging story. And then we're going to come watch a movie with her. And we're going to watch... Um, we're going to watch Simder with her. Oh, and Luke is here. Oh, gosh. Cool. So we're going to go uh, go ahead and watch this movie together. Uh, he also wants to order food at the espresso bar. Uh, but yeah, we'll come sit together. We sit together in the center. You want the center room. Um, and we're going to compliment her outfit because she does look amazing. I don't know why she's sitting up up there. Oh, he's moving. Okay. Oh, uh, and we're going to blow her a kiss. Oh, and she's like, dude, stop talking to me. Okay, sit and relax, man. Um, and we want to have a couple deep conversations, even though there's a movie playing right now. Um, we're going to compliment her appearance. Um, oh, it's so, so sad. He stood her up! Or he's there. Oh god, she got catfished! Catfished! Oh my god, we're crying over it! We'll express her admiration, recite some love poetry to her. Oh, we keep lagging a smidgen, and we're gonna have a second deep conversation. Oh my gosh, look at the two of them. She's wearing such a bright shirt. Oh god, he died! What the? Oh my god. What a sad, sad woman. Like, holy... Uh, okay, so we're gonna flirt, and we're going to um, kiss her. Can we, can we kiss you? Oh, what is it? What, is, what was that? What was that? It's sad. I saw a movie thing. Okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. Uh, so he wants to order food at the espresso bar. So we're going to come do that. We're going to order food for here. And we're going to order a scone. Um, Aurora's feeling like super, super flirty. And who's this? Donna Bert... Donna Birch... Bjergsen. Bjergsen. Who's your daddy? Oh, she looks just like the Jorn. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I hiccuped. Um, I don't think Luke is around here anymore. No, he's not. Oh, but Gothel's here. Where is she? Where is she? I just saw her. Is that her over there? Yes, okay, let's, um, we're gonna run over here and, um, and, um, guess get to know her and, uh, discuss interests. So we're gonna run off while Jacob is ordering uh, ordering his food at the espresso bar um, before he really notices but Aurora um, a g Gothel texted her and was like we should like come meet me here by the pond <laughs> dag, dag. Is she even here pretty sure she left I think she just left so now we're standing here, like, real awkward and upset. Oh, she's over here. Why is she wearing a wedding dress? Did she get married to somebody? Um, we'll gush about her partner. Let's ask if she's single. I feel like she might have gotten married. Because why else would she be... Oh, she's single. We'll tell her an engaging story, gossip with her. Talk about cooking. Look at her. She's like totally 
totally, <laughs> oh, totally the same. Um, but Jacob has noticed that she's, um, she's missing. He went to the bathroom. He didn't see her anywhere. Um, Arthur's here. Eliza's here. And they're like, what, like, what is up with you guys? So Jacob really, he has to, he has to talk with them. He can't ignore them, but they do have to get home, uh, pretty quickly. But Arthur's here as well. Oh, but Jacob actually doesn't know Arthur. Um, but Aurora is trying to, um, the heck is that? All right, well, we're going to go ahead and end the date, uh, and we're going to head home. Um, Eliza saw us, and she's concerned. She wants to reach out. She's like, to Jacob, she's saying, like, like let Aurora in. Like, let Aurora let us in. Like, let us come over. We can help. And, oh, my God, even Henry's here. The whole fam dam is here. And, uh... And Aurora just, like, totally left. She has no intention of seeing her brothers or her cousins at all. And it really, really hurts their feelings. It's, it's just so unfortunate that, um, so unfortunate and so tragic that this all is happening. All right, so we are home and, um, and Aurora's not in bed yet, but we do want to, uh, we do want to have a quick woohoo. Uh, Rapunzel is, uh, sleeping. She's been sleeping for a little bit. Uh, cause it's after 10, but her social is way back up. So that's, uh, good, good news, good news. <laughs> and, uh, the two of them are going to woohoo just to, um, finish up their date. And then Aurora will be aging up, uh, tomorrow, uh, just at home. They're not going to throw a birthday party, but we will make a cake and, um, they'll have just a regular home thing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. If you guys are enjoying the series, please give this video a fat thumbs up, subscribe for more as I put them out fairly regularly, and I love you guys so very much, I will see you in my next video, bye guys. <laughs>